they put them in a goddamn dress. They are looking to destroy the image of masculinity amongst blacks and Hispanics. They are looking to destroy our family structure by pushing that disgusting LGBTQ agenda. But the Most High God told us to be what? A special people. A special people. A people above the nonsense that we see our oppressors get involved in. Let me get that in um. Let me get that in Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Let me get that in Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Because we see a lot of our people fall into this LGBTQ lifestyle. You know, the LGBTQ lifestyle is a snare for blacks and Hispanics. No different than gangbang. No different than drug dealing in our community. It is a snare to destroy our family structure. It is a snare to destroy the businesses in our community and keep us impoverished and keep us destroyed. The LGBT community is an enemy to blacks and Hispanics. And what did the Bible say? Read what you got. Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust that enemy. When the LGBT community is looking to put new initiatives in your children's school, say it again. Never trust that enemy. When the LGBTQ community when the LGBTQ community is looking to put new initiatives in your neighborhoods, say it again. Never trust that enemy. When the LGBTQ community put HIV commercials with two sodomites smiling and happy that they got goddamn AIDS, say it again. Never trust that enemy. The Bible said never trust your enemy. And the LGBT community is an enemy to blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians. And we're going to prove that for you. The destruction of black masculinity in this country is at the hands of the LGBTQ community. And if you're a masculine black man, especially in Harlem, we experience this all the time. We experience a direct attack on our masculinity. Don't raise your voice. He's too aggressive. Don't be too loud. He's too aggressive. They won't pass me right now. They look up at me and say, that man is just too aggressive. We well, here, I ask you to care to commend the gentleman, Yohanna. We are aggressive about our love for our people. We are aggressive about our love for blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Fuck it. That's right. it. It's important that we understand the, ta the attacks that the LGBT community has on the black community. The attacks that they not only have on the brothers in our community, but the attacks that they have on the sisters in our community. A lot of you sisters run around with LGBTQ men like they're your best goddamn friend. They look at you as their competition. They hate your femininity. They are looking for an opportunity to replace you and your femininity. This is an agenda by the LGBTQ community and we're gonna pull it out right now. A few months ago was Women's International Month. Women's International Month. And Women's International Month is a time here in the US in which the government seeks to take time out to honor women and their achievements and their accomplishments and their femininity here in the United States. Let's read about who they gave the Women's International Courage Award to this year. Read it. Twitter lives, Twitter lives grows as Jill Biden gives biological male woman a courage award. Say it again. As Jill Biden gets Biological Male Woman of Courage Award. Jill Biden, the first lady, gives the International Woman of Courage Award to a goddamn man. To a goddamn man. A hairy, filthy, disgusting man receives the Woman of Courage Award. Why? Because he is not here to uplift your femininity, ladies. He is here to replace you as a woman. He is here to be the new woman. Read that extra part on it so we can prove that. Up your game up, ladies. Up 
your game, ladies. That's what the cross dresser said who won the International Women's Award. He told women to step your game up. The LGBTQ community launches attacks on black and Hispanic women. They hate your beauty. But please don't be sad, sister, because right here in the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, we love a black and Hispanic woman's beauty. We can't get enough of a black and Hispanic woman and the ISUPK under command of General Yahad. That disgusting side might be walking around with every day. He can't stand your curves. He can't wait till his oppressor comes out with some new technology to help him look a little bit more feminine. And replace you. I'm telling Harlem right now, ain't no goddamn sissy replacing no black or Hispanic woman. That's right. We got the most beautiful women. And we refuse to allow these bullies, these enemies, the LGBTQ community destroy our families. We refuse to allow them to destroy black masculinity. We refuse to allow them to think that they can replace the booty of a booty black and Hispanic woman. We do the more. Governor Sarah Huck Huckabee Sanders tweeted, it's International Women's Day. A good time to remember the Democrats sloppy. A good time to remember that Democrats can't even tell you what a woman is. Woman, it, Women's International Week, and they don't even know what a woman is. They don't even know what a woman is. Here's a man coming up to accept the woman's courage award. And let me tell you something else, ladies. In every arena, every arena in which you've dominated it thus far, they're gonna have a disgusting man competing with you. We see it in sports. We see it in business. This community does not have the best interests of black and Hispanic families. The LGBTQ community is an enemy of black and Hispanic families. And we're gonna drop that for a minute. Let me get on the slide. 